cream tartar. And uh, let's see how it tastes. Delicious! Ah, Tilof Lava. Today we are making chicken thighs baked and also some turkey tails. But first, for the turkey tails, I'm going to lay down some chopped onions and put the turkey tails on top of these and let the onions soak up all that goodness that drips out of the turkey butt. <laughs> now we add these turkey tails, put them like that. These come in a pack from the commissary. They're only like five dollars for for five of them. So I don't know, is that a good price for you shop? Let me know. Next we're going to use some of this tamari brewed soy sauce. This is a lower sodium one too. But brewed soy sauce, if you've never had it, I mean I could drink this like a shot of whiskey. It is so good. I'm gonna add some on there. And with this, you don't really need to marinate chicken that long. Some people do, but you really don't. I'm gonna add some to the breast too. I mean to the thighs. Just a little bit will do ya. That's all you need. Now for the spices, I like to do the fresh cracked pepper. Let's put some of that on each one. We'll put some on the thighs too. The reason why I'm making both is because I'm more of a thigh fan myself, even though I do eat turkey tails from time to time. And uh, also my kids, I don't think are huge fans of the turkey tail either. Uh, well, I'm looking for, let's do some garlic powder. You don't really want to put fresh garlic on something you're baking because it'll burn and change the whole flavor profile of what you're eating. Let's do the thighs as well. Makes a nice taste on the skin and also it smells great when you're cooking it. Now I want the, the turkey tails and the thighs to be extra juicy when they come out so I am going to turn it just to 375 and I will bake it at least an hour and check if it's done at that time. Next I'm going to start with my taro as you can see it the grocery store I went only had baby ones I didn't feel like driving all the way to one of the specialty stores that had the big one so all I need is a little bit because I don't think my kids like this and my wife will eat a little bit but I love this it's kind of like cream of tomatoes or I mean cream of potato soup but I use taro and I'll show you how I do it first I'm going to peel the skin off I know I could cut it off with a knife but I want to get as much taro as possible since they're so small so I'm going to use a potato peeler done with the first one. Oh, sweet lady of Waihole. Ah. And a little bit of that I can leave on there. It won't hurt anything. And there we go. Got one done. <laughs> Three to go. All right. They're all skinned. And now I'm just going to cube them up and boil them in some water. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to turn it down low and let it uh, set like that simmer for about the same time uh, about 45 minutes All right, they're all chopped up Just gonna add water So about it is uh, halfway covered and then we go from there All right stoves on high waiting for it to boil uh, I'll see you when all this is done and I prepare um, the cream of taro soup and also when the turkey tails and the uh, and the chicken thighs are done as well. All right, time to relax and uh, wait for the cooking to cook. Oh, I also have to make some rice as well. So once the uh, taro and water start boiling like that, basically you're gonna take it and turn it from high down to about two. And then just put your cover on and let that go for about 45 minutes or until a fork can push into one of the cubes um, easily. Uh, and not have to jam it through and that's when you know the taro is done Okay, the turkey tails and chicken thighs are almost done. So I'm gonna turn off the heat on this and we're gonna empty out the water All right Ooh, Steamy, sorry That probably fogged up the lens Once that's empty 
That's what we have left. Now let's put it back on the stove. Okay, first thing you're going to do is add a big clump of butter. You can do half a stick of butter. Or like I like to use some country clock, crock, excuse me, and slowly stir it all around. While it's melting, you can use some regular uh, granulated pepper. And then also put on some salt. Now I know that a lot of people have trouble with uh, heart conditions so what I do is I use no salt. This is a wonderful product. It has no sodium in it whatsoever. It tastes just like salt though. So you use it in anything you bake or make that needs salt but it has no salt. So it's much more healthy for you. Okay once you're about done Bring all the butter in or country crock or whatever you choose to use that's when you're going to put in a little bit of uh, coconut milk you don't have to put too much in me personally I used to also like to use a little bit of garlic powder makes it taste really good Okay, now let's see how the turkey tails and the chicken thighs are doing. Wow, those look great as well. Let's get those plated. All right, my wife's plates all plated. So I've got the uh, fancy little rice dome just by using a little cup like this. We've got the uh, cream of taro soup. We've got the um, what do you call it? Supergetti. We've got a chicken thigh. And we've got the two turkey tails with some caramelized onions. And we're going to use a little parsley flakes just to pretty up the uh, cream of taro soup. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we sure appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you next time. And thank you, Faftai, so much for watching. Till next time. Peace. By the way, I'm trying some of the cream taro. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Delicious! <laughs> the kids are eating. Oh, one's hiding.